Welcome to Jumpstart Your Joy. This week on the show, I am so very delighted to have Stacia Savasic back. She joined us, well, I think it was actually season five, but really just a year ago. And um, maybe it's longer, but I have since had the magical experience of being part of Stacia Style School and now the revolution. And oh, I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them on. I'm ready for them. <laughs> yeah. Such a delight to have you back, Stacia. Thank you so much. How does where our word work? And like, and what do you, what do you kind of do with this program? Mm -hmm. So I, I taught it last year for the first time. So for years, I've been doing these little um, things for style school alum, like a little, I called them two week tune ups. I do alliteration is kind of like my thing, Stacia style school, where our word, a word of the year workshop, right? So I do a lot of <laughs> all the repeating sounds, but um Last year was the first year that I did wow for like a lot of people. So it was like an auditorium. It was like 600 people in the workshop and it was really fun. It was so fun. Um, so the whole idea is to pick a word of the year. And what a word of the year is, it's your intention for the year. And I, you know, I, cause resolutions are a, a scam as far as I'm concerned. I think they're a mm -hmm. scam because most of them, and I had written a newsletter about this recently, like the top three are, they always have to do with your body. The top three every year, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to go to the gym more. And I'm going to change my diet every year for like a century. I went back and looked in like the, the records of like, what were the top three new year's resolutions in 1972? lose weight, go to the gym, eat healthy. And I was like, wait a minute, if that actually worked, would they be the same top three for like 75 years in a row? Probably not. It's a scam. So anyway, um, so it's, you know, when you pick a word, it's something that you practice intentionally, right? So if you want to feel a certain way in your body and you think losing weight is going to get you there, go to the feeling. What is the feeling that you want to feel, that you think you need to do this thing to get to the feeling that you want to feel, right? Because there are a million ways to cultivate a feeling and they don't all have to be two hours a day at the gym, seven days a week. And if you miss a day, you're a failure, right? Like that's a system that's right. designed for you to fail so that you keep coming back year after year after year. It is a multi-billion dollar industry that we have bought hook, line, and sinker. It's unbelievable. Anyway, when you pick a word, I get really fired up about it. It's so, but it's so appropriate. I mean, like, yeah, I love the point that like, if this was working and these resolutions made the difference, like, well, then we'd be done. Like next year, we'd have to figure out some new world problem to figure out. Like, yeah, they don't work. And it's by design. Yes. It is by design, right? We, they are designed to fail, so we keep handing over our money. Anyway, so when you pick a word, it's something you practice for a year. It becomes the lens through which you see everything. This is my eighth year picking a word of the year. My first word of the year was value. And so just to go to like what you think it's going to be is not always what it ends up being. My first word of the year was value. And really it was, I want to make more money. That was my resolution, make more money. But I chose value because I was going to try out this word of the year thing. But really what it meant was make money. So this is the year, this is what happens. And this is the year that I quit my job to start my business. I had a brand new baby because he's not, he's eight now. So this was like the time he was, I had a baby. We had a contractor. So the room that I'm sitting in upstairs we had a contract to come put a dormer on our house. He apparently was unskilled and he broke our house. So we oh, had no. paid him all this money. He walked off the job. We sued him. He had no, he hadn't paid his taxes in 25 years. So the IRS was after him. He hadn't paid his child support. It was a disaster. We had to put $40,000 to fix our house before it collapsed on a visa because we had spent every penny we had to get this renovation done. Oh we my word. All of our savings that we had been saving for, because we had the second kid, we had a two bedroom house. We wanted to put on a dorm and build a third bedroom. It's expensive. We had to have the job redone, sued him, one, never saw a penny. $40,000 oh, on a visa. I had wow. just quit my job to become an entrepreneur. My word of the year was value because I wanted to make more money, right? So here we are 
yes. some things. I have never carried a $10 balance on my visa. Never. I have never carried a balance on my credit card. And now we're paying 1800 bucks a month in interest. It was insane. It was wow. terrible. And then we had a car. We had a four, we had two cars. We had a Ford Focus station wagon and we had a Toyota Corolla. We let our friend borrow the Corolla. She totaled it. And we thought we had full insurance. We did not. So we lost a car. And then our, our Ford Focus blew six alternators caught on fire. We'd keep getting it fixed, bring it back to the shop because we had no money to buy a car. So we kept getting it fixed. We had, One time we're driving down, the lug nut sheared off and our tire went flying down and we're swerving down the road with the kids in the car. The car caught on fire one time. The alternator broke down always when, six times. Our dishwasher broke, our lawnmower broke, our snowblower broke, our oven broke. We ended the year in so much debt it was unbelievable. But do you know what? Every single time this happened, I would say to myself, I have value. Mm. I have value. Yeah. And what I had done and what that year taught me, and I don't think I would have learned this any other way, if I had made a little bit of money, I would have never learned the lesson. Because what I learned was that my value was inextricably linked to the amount of money I had in my bank account. I grew up poor. And it was a shame that I carried my whole life, right? And yeah. so the more I went in the hole, the more I said, I have value, I have value, I have value. So at the end of the year, we are over $40,000 in credit card debt. And I felt more value than I ever had in my entire life. Mm, yeah. So the word worked, not in the way that I thought it was going to work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it reminds me, I picked, I think it was build <laughs> in 2020 and discovered that build meant you have to tear it all down yeah. to build. <laughs> so like, there's that, like, you know, uh, you know, not me anymore than anyone else had to tear yeah. everything down in 2020, but it was, I, and it was a very similar experience in the dance with that word of, yeah. it was like, Okay. Well, then the building is like building me back up, building, you know, relationships back up, building trust with people. Like there was so much building going on that I just didn't, I thought it meant I was building a business mm, similar yeah. to like what you said about value. Like, yeah, unreal. So yeah, right. I think get ready for the dance with whatever word you're choosing. Right. It has an idea of its own. Every year it's so different, but when it becomes the lens what it teaches you and the, because it's the lens that you yeah. see everything, right? Yeah. 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 This past year, my word was trust. The year before it was disrupt, but every, yeah, everything that happens, I would go trust in this situation. What does trust mean? And then I go, Oh my God. I never even thought of that. What? <sighs> yeah. Right. And then I would be annoyed that I had a word that was like so pushy and but the amount of growth that happens when you filter your life's experiences through a word is powerful. What usually happens is that people pick a word of the year, because this is wicked funny to me. And then in January 27th, I'm like, what's your word? And they're like, I don't, I don't remember. I had right. one, wicked good. But by, uh, by the end of January, people have already forgotten their word. So what the hell, why pick a word? You might as well pick a resolution and buy into that scam too, right? So for me, what I do at the start of it, usually at the end of a year, at the start of the year, like that transition time, I wear my word. I figure out what color my word is. What color is my word? What mm. does it feel like? What's the texture? What's the silhouette? What are the combinations that I'm going to put together? What kind of earrings do I want to wear that are going to connect me to that feeling? So I intensively go into it to be like, I want to know what it looks like, what it feels like, because I want to connect it every day so I don't forget what it is. Because what I always say is my word is my work, right? Yeah. It's not just this fantastical little thing that I do. This is the thing that it's going to get my teeth dirty and my finger dirt under my fingernails all year long, right? And so I do this. I just was in Joshua Tree. I live in Vermont. I flew out to Joshua Tree because I was like, that's what my, my next word is. It, it lives in Joshua Tree. And so I went out 
got a photographer. He, we went out to New York, to Joshua Tree and I did a photo shoot there and I awkwardly moved my body. Like I felt like I was Elaine dancing in the Seinfeld. Do you remember with the thumbs? Yes. That was oh my me. goodness. Like, I need to know what my word feels like. And I want to capture it in a photograph, like in a series of photographs, because mm. I want to plaster it. I want it on my phone. I want it on my screensaver. I want to post a picture of it so that I can fully, because I got to know what it feels like inside my body. How do I move my body to feel my word? Right. Yeah. So I just did a photo shoot. I know like my word for 2022 is light pink, burnt orange, white, and mustard yellow. Like those are my colors right now. So then when I go shopping, I just go pink, mustard, orange, white. That's what I shop for. I bring in two or three new things, add them to my small closet that I have already. And all of a sudden, my entire closet now matches my word. I didn't buy a new wardrobe. That's wasteful. I'm not going to do that, right? But if I buy a pink scarf, I can wear that with everything and I have an automatic connection to my scarf. So mm -hmm. that's my... That's my scarf that's representative of my word. So every time I grab it, I'm grabbing my word. I'm wrapping it around me. When I put on that jacket, I'm putting that jacket around my shoulders. I'm putting my word around my shoulders so that I wear it and I carry it with me the whole year because I intend to live my life fully and I'm going to step into the growth opportunities when they arise. But I have to remember and so I make it so I don't forget, right? So that's what wow is all about, is really like embodying your word and keeping it super close so that you can stay committed to it for the whole year. And then you just like can't even believe what happens when you do that. <laughs> your life changes. It's crazy. It's amazing. You know? So anyway, that's yeah. I love it. Yeah, now I've got idea. I think my my word is is somewhere in rest, ease, relax. Mm -hmm. It's somewhere in that because I'm usually one of those, I don't know, go get them types. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I am tired. So let's, mm -hmm. you know, like intentionally, yeah. how do I ease? So I'm gonna have to think about that. Ease was um, my word. And I have a note in 2018, ease was my word. It was a good word and I had a lot of colors. My colors for e for me, it was like dusty colors. Dusty yeah. pink, dusty rose, dusty peach. Like that was really like dusty, 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 really mm. like calm colors. And the year before it was play and I was like polka dots, fuchsia. So my, like I was able to, everything shifted. Sure. When my word shifted and it was really cool to be able to take my play closet and turn it into my ease closet by switching out a few things and making different combos. Super fun. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm getting seafoam green vibes. So mm -hmm. we'll see where that goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend some time with this and I, I can't wait to see where it goes and where we're going to do where it. Our word. So yeah. you're going to yeah. do it anyway. I'll mm -hmm. take right in. So where, if somebody's like, oh my gosh, sign me up, where do they go to find more about you or about where your word or any of these, any of your mm -hmm. amazing programs? Um, so you can find me on Instagram under Stacia Savasic and then on, um, at my website, stationsavasic.com. So, okay. Very yeah, cool. My name. And then if you type in my name, you'll also get my Ted talk, which gives a full, really deeper picture of inside out congruency too. So, yeah. Thank you so much for coming back and, um, and for sharing all the delight with us. Um, I just, thank you so much. You're welcome, Paula. Thank you. <laughs>